PC or whatever, but yeah, basically spring, Easter. Are you kidding me? Spring recess, LOL. Like, they call it spring recess, yeah. Um, so it's spring recess, and then, um, yeah, and then they also just started giving them Thursday, too, I guess just to try to be even between the Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes and the Tuesday, Thursday classes. Yeah. Or to give them an extra day to travel. I don't know, but whatever the case is, I get an extra day, so I'm like, all right, it's cool. Um, it is a little annoying for the class that I picked up. It's Tuesday, Thursday, where it's like, I just, they were just coming off a of spring break. I haven't had them all semester, and then it's like two weeks after spring break, it's Easter. So I basically, I've had three classes with them. And then they're going to have, like, you know, a major component due um, the week after. Easter, so it feels like we're in you know super fast mode here. And she didn't teach hardly anything that I teach in there, and usually I've already got them, you know, pretty set up with basic stuff, but they don't even like really know how to do any research. They don't have any concept of like. Rhetoric and stuff like that, just like the, you know, just how important it is, not just what you're saying, but kind of the story you're telling behind what you're saying. Right. Um, so I don't know what the hell they're doing, but they weren't doing that <laughs> earlier. So I got to catch them all up to speed, which is supposed to be like one of the main objectives of the course. So I don't know. She just taught it very differently than I did. So I just got to, um, catch everybody up as much as I can but yeah it's been pretty chill other than that <clears throat> been a little lazy on the uh, on the gym stuff I don't know why just still trying to get back in the groove nice <laughs> nice. At least my upper body. It's good. Yeah. I was doing a push up and like my arms are shaking so bad for like the first like five. I'm like, oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so after you know being injured, but also just not being yeah. in the groove for so long. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I'll just do recon anyways. I mean, Nautilus is historically pretty decent at recon, but. I think it's kind of a skill matchup. Now, is bone plating... I'm, I'm gonna try bone plating. That's what a lot of people do. I guess I'll keep Font. I could get Demolished probably against them, but... I guess Font's better. If you've got a lot of, like, tanks. Obviously, it's better if you go in Ardent Sensor or Staff Flowing Water. But... I don't know. Getting those Demolished procs on Towers definitely does matter. Not a lot of Recons get that. But... I think it's pretty good. If you're not gonna get one of the um, group aura items. Okay, let me. Dude, you have the faker down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> this is him. This is not an imposter. Uh, I think we'll be able to figure it out real quick if that's true. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you're just like, I appreciate it. What's up, Ewa Pogfesser? What's up, Butter? You only need to say stuff with confidence. Research doesn't matter. I mean, that is true. That's a separate skill in life that's related. Um, 
but it's which research for which audience that does matter now we don't go into that too much in this unix we're looking at professional audiences so like scholars there is that to some extent but definitely if you're just opening it up you know to non-professional scholars you know the way you try to convince a conspiracy theorist of something versus like a harvard professor is probably going to be very different So that's real. Just trying to talk to just anybody. Trying to talk to everybody as though a Har they're a Harvard professor is not going to be a very good way to go. What's up, B-Rad? Let her get that plasma proc. Okay, good. Try some Tarek. Ah, uh, maybe. I know you really like him. I have thought about Kinch. It's like a peeler support, because he is getting played in some circles. This guy's hitting Q, so that's good. If he could just dodge um, E's, that would be great. Kaisa just cleanses randomly. I guess maybe she thought I was going to ignite and she was going to take tower shots or something. Or she just panicked and pressed all her buttons. Not worth the tempo, man. All right. Well, I guess I'll try to look mid. Okay. I mean, he got it all the way in. I don't know. Maybe it is worth. But what do you think, Brad? You think I should have helped him push that there? I mean, obviously we don't want him to get a freeze on us, but Zach's top. Yeah, I thought not worth. Because now they're up an item. And we could have just probably pushed it in and reset and we got back here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Okay. What do I think of the Nami Sona changes? Small adjustment. I'll have to look at the numbers again, but I think the Nami looked pretty significant. There's a nerf to their offense. That's a pretty big AP ratio boost to Sona on the defense. So I feel like Sona is going to be a little worse in lane, but better at team fighting later. Because she actually does get AP items, like Archangels and stuff like that. So 
doubling the AP ratio on the heal is pretty nice. Nice. Well, he's used his ignite twice. Just kind of annoying. I'm trying to think, should I have used mine just to even just get some damage on him? Oh man, if he hit that, he was like dead. Like for sure. Bone plating has blocked eleven damage so far. I don't know if that's worth. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Nami, wasn't it the same deal? Like, they nerfed the offense, but they made her scale a little bit better because the waves don't fall off as much. I don't know if that was just with the heal or also with the damage. But the fact the waves don't fall off as much is nice. Okay, good. Trying to hopefully... Right, he's going to let it freeze, I think. Dude, don't stop me. Don't stop me. Okay. Does he have Tia Matt? Okay, yeah. He cleared that pretty quick. Um, I'm just going to go Ionians here. Maybe could have gotten a... Uh... I'm really surprised Nautilus didn't flash that. Presumably he has Hex Flash. I don't think he's flashed yet. Yeah, exactly. That's the main reason I didn't get it, but so many Rakans get bone plating. It's just like, I usually get conditioning if I don't need second wind, which most lanes you don't need it these days after the nerfs. Which is basically like good for 12 armor and 12 magic resist. But it's always up. So it's like, if you're going to get like hard bursted by somebody, like a Diana, then maybe Bone Plating saving you 180 damage is good, you know? But... Okay, we're pushing here. That is incidentally pretty good that like you're maxing your W as Recon, and that's in an open lane like that, it's pretty good wave clear. probably worth I mean, it was definitely worth it in the end I don't know if there's a way I could have avoided Diana after going over that wall I wasn't sure if you guys were going to catch him if I didn't go over the wall okay then Trinomir is just destroying him top so that's good how do I think drain tank volley rex Ayu, deer top seems broken um Rek'Sai seemed good. I've only seen it in a couple of pro games. I think in general, anything that allows you to like permanently sustain through a lane without interacting with the opponent too much is probably too good. Udyr seems like he's in an okay place right now. Like he, He's good in certain matchups, but I don't think he's too OP. 
Volley seems like garbage. I'll be honest with you. I think he has an okay win rate. But I've seen so many games where I'm just not impressed by that champion. So I don't know. Maybe I've only seen the bad ones. I've seen like one game where he popped off before any nerfs after the buffs. And then it feels like after the most recent round of nerfs, it's just not as good. But again, it's I could just be wrong about that. to hit that there's no way I could have hit it I don't think this is kind of where I wish I had demolished oh really getting any wards because I don't have any wards on the map like so these are not like great wards but there's something yeah Nami was really cool back in the day it feels like they haven't changed that much about her structurally she just like W was on a lower cooldown and there just weren't as many fancy like champs out there as there are now there wasn't a recon There wasn't like a million jumps. Rakan's or um, Nami's pretty good against uh, somewhat against mobility champs with her R. I wish they'd make her R move faster. I think that'd be a reasonable quality of life to just sort of solidify her as like a peeler. But she's always been like more of an early game, early game bully you know, type of champ, more so than like a Sona or a Lulu, I feel like. I was trying to block him so he couldn't hook the uh, tower. Slay has been nerfed a lot, but I feel like that's probably still the best on Rakan. So it kind of sucks, but they're about to nerf the other ones too. Like Claw and uh, Zaza. Next patch. And then the bubble one... It just feels underwhelming. I don't know. Like, the personal protection stuff is cool, but especially with a champ like Rakan who has that much mobility. I should have rotated up, probably. I need to go back and get... are gonna get that con isn't good at blowing bubbles uh the double bubble item <clears throat> i think is actually pretty decent on recon if that's what you're referring to dream bubble i've thought about getting it again they just they made it weird where they made it like scaling based on level it's like what where they made it weaker than it was until like level 10 or something I guess I'm just gonna come up here with you. Oh, never mind. All right. Yeah. 
I'm gonna push. Yeah. Who's blowing them out this game? Feels good. Like, Cho went over and killed my control ward, but that means he's not pushing bottom if he's doing that. So it's like, I'm cleaning their ward. It basically only costs me 50 gold. Because I'm getting paid 25 to kill it. And it gets somebody to come over there and waste, like, 30 seconds of their time. So as long as they're missing, like, two minions off of that, it's worth two or three minions. And it's also just positionally, you just the waves aren't as pushed, so that's just good in general. Okay, let me put yeah, just pressure bottom here. Take all their stuff. And because he didn't push that wave up, now we've got a wave pushing in the tower over here, so. Don't be afraid, that's my opinion on it. Just clear every ward. Doesn't matter if they're gonna clear it back a lot of the time. Nice. Cause yeah, it does take you time, but it also takes them time. Potentially. Sometimes I'm guilty of being a little too greedy with that, but. All right, you wanna do one more? Still got to get up and take the kids in, but I can take a little nap after I put them in. Alright. Okay. Um, biggest buff to Nami coming is you only need 100 AP for her W to break even. Yeah. I mean, I feel like both of them are going to be stronger <clears throat> on like two items. But a little bit weaker in lane, which I think was their stated purpose. I mean, let's see what they have going on here. This overall... Galio, they're like buffing the exact same stuff they nerfed. I don't understand that. It seemed really muddled to me. It seemed like he just got worse. And did they like buff his passive so he could try to jungle or something? I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is stuff I was talking about that they really need. Like he needs to be tankier for sure. So the W base is nice. The passive is just kind of goofy. Um... But W for sure, he needs to be tankier. And then um, the E base damage is cool. I wish they'd do a little bit more quality of life, like him being able to go over walls or something with the E would help out a lot for support Galio. And then Karma is interesting. So now, that's so weird if they're trying to make this for support Karma because they're divorcing her R from her E which means you can still have a huge shield on your R and max something else. 
other than your E. So now you could max your Q and they haven't changed the interaction with malignants. So now you can be maxing your Q for the malignants abuse um, and still give out like a massive ass shield. Well, that's kind of what they're doing. Because the R, yeah, it's like a 22% bigger shield baseline. And I think the R scales pretty high off of AP. Yeah, no, that is. That's what I'm saying. It's a bigger solo karma buff than support. But they, like, stated, I think that they wanted to help her out in the support role. So that seems kind of odd to me. And she's already played in pro, like, a decent amount because of the interaction with Malignants. And this is going to, like, make her shield massive. Because I think Mid Karma wants to max Q, obviously. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, where it did half the shield as damage. Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I think her current design is fine. Uh, it's just like her scaling. It's just trading off where she's kind of like Nami. You know, she's aggressive early, but then not so much later. The thing that made her really OP for like a couple of months when I got to Diamond in like season nine or 10 when I played her, was they made the movement speed on her E, like just her baseline shield lasted longer. I think it was either two seconds or two and a half seconds. And it was just like a little bit faster, but that was enough. Just had people zipping and she was just like really good at that. So if they wanna make her like the queen of rotations or something like that, <clears throat> that could be pretty good. Yeah, exactly. It's not that supportive. It's just basically got a shield. She's got that root. I mean, they could make the root trigger faster. That would be nice. But she's kind of dangerous to mess around with because she is one of the enchanters that will get played in pro. Uh, Support Karma maxes E, I think, for the shield and the cooldown on it. I mean, maybe I'm out of touch, but uh, it's at least you used to. Um, Kane changes whatever. Lux is minor. Nasus. Okay. Olaf. Probably doesn't matter. Smolder. They're buffing her, and I still think she's too strong. In the right situation. Like, her win rate's not great, but... Now, crit is not going to matter, and two armor, realistically, is probably not going to matter that much. So... Maybe that's all good. Okay, so the Nami... Let me see what we're up against here. I was not impressed also with bone plating. I don't get it. I, th I just feel like conditioning, unless you just really... And we'll do demolish. The armor? Is it? I mean, it's okay. What is it reducing? Like, a quarter of a percent physical damage? Like, two armor? Maybe less? I don't know. The shield's pretty big and it's a pretty low cooldown for those types of shields. From what I remember, it's like eight seconds. And I think it used to be one of the higher shields. Now, maybe that's not correct anymore, but it used to be like a 240 shield. I'm sure it's been nerfed. But it used to be about the same shield as Janna, but it gave movement speed and was on a shorter cooldown, but it didn't give you the AD. The bonus AD. I mean, it does. It does make a difference, but probably only in the super early game, and I just don't know if it's going to be enough. But then again, like I said, she didn't really need any buffs, so I guess anything is good. Um, I guess the crit, they're trying to nudge her to get um, quick blades, which was one of their stated purposes, so get her off of the tankier build, Shoujin. <clears throat> um... Nerfing Camille's support is dumb. Like, that's already such a niche thing, and you're already nerfing Bloodsong. So, Nami, baseline W, later, 
is less damage. But early game is the same, and the heal... I think the heal is more relevant than the damage later. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we gotta get Mercs against the Moomoo. Moo. We're all physical damage. So... Probably get a lot of value out of LDR fairly early if they stack armor. That's rough. Yeah, and the shield bash on Sona. Shield bash. There's there are several weird runes that I feel like they need to adjust to make them like viable choices. They're just like super niche. Well, there's only a couple of um a couple of champs that would ever use it. Shield bow or shield bash is one of those. It's like shield bash, the stacking health one, but you gotta be careful giving people bonus health. Um, what are some other worthless ass runes? Now, there's a lot that I just never get because I always get the same runes. I don't know for sure. That new inspiration rune that replaced stopwatch, I've heard is not amazing. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, the one that gives you the gold on loan. Like, it was cool when they reworked a lot of the runes, but I wish they would, like, do more and shake up the runes every season a little bit more. They did a lot of shaking up this season, though. So this season was good. It's like, last season was just weak as hell. Just gonna flash. Oh, okay, nice. So they pay attention to the keystones quite a bit, but the minor runes, they just like, mostly let those slide. With some exceptions, obviously. Like the gold, um, the, one that, the ones that give the raw gold a lot of times, they fix those pretty quick. Like gold hunter, or whatever the fuck it was called. Well, you're only down 2 CS, though. A little bit on yeah. XP, but she's just missed so many. And you didn't die, so that's good. Doubt he'll gank mid this early, but it's possible. You got the kill. Yeah, so, okay. I wish they'd buff Yasuo a little bit. He's just like, he's a cool champ, but people like his lore, his vibe, you know, the weeb. The samurai swordsman. But, um, Like, Yone is a lot more viable, I feel like, for good players. Because he's got an escape. He can get out of stuff. He can, like, play around things. But it feels like Yasuo just does not have a great escape. I don't know how you fix that necessarily, but... You have a W to stop 10th, or... Oh, almost. Okay, 
Okay, so I need... Mercs. And... They don't really have that much physical damage. They've got a Lowie. Just lock it, I guess, for a Lowie especially. Just Mercs lock it, Val. Well, I don't know. Wind wall is a frustrating ability. Maybe like if he hits people offensively, maybe it keeps wind wall up longer. Like adds an extra half a second per like either auto attack might be too strong, but every Q he lands or something. Or lowers the cooldown on it so you can do it more often. If that's supposed to be like his defensive tool. Or if he goes through it himself, maybe he gets a little speed boost. Like plus 20% movement speed for two seconds, something like that. So then he could use it defensively to run away. Maybe it slows enemies or something if they walk through it too. So maybe they, it could do something like that. Like it blocks projectiles and either slows enemies or speeds him up if they go through it. I, I like the speed up idea because then he could use it as an escape. But it's a really long cooldown and he has to choose whether he wants to use it offensively or defensively. Kind of like with... Um, what's his name's ult? Uh, like with Yone's ult, right? Like, he can use it defensively if he wants to. But that means he's not going to have it for offense. Yeah, but the shield is pretty small and only comes up every now and then. The wind wall is defense, but it doesn't help him, like, run away. His problem is he's just too immobile. Defensively. Like, he is obviously very mobile offensively. And obviously that's a deliberate design choice to make him immobile defensively, but I just don't think he has enough defensive cooldowns. Right now, like, his only hope of getting out of a gank, if he's even a little out of position, is just to fight his way out. I mean, you could give him something like Wukong, where it's like when he's near more enemies, you know, maybe his shield comes up faster or something. His defensive shield comes up faster. I don't know. I just think he's a cool champ. He's just dangerous. And I mean, it's kind of like a get good type of thing, but he's one of the few champs like that that just has like almost no D. If he ever wants to go on me offensively, if he uses that dash offensively, we just kill him probably. He knows better though. late to this. I don't know if Yone can come down here on this. Alright, yeah, he's... If Yone wrote, or, uh, Yasuo rotated a little faster, that would have been a double kill. Probably if he was in range to ult my W, but... He had just killed Ari, and he was probably just tunnel vision on pushing. I guess stem. I maybe could have. I don't think I could freeze that many minions though. So I could have maybe frozen this for you. Right. I'll be able to get most of them, at least. Not everyone can have that massive slong I'm swinging. I mean, it's true. It's tough to wield, you know, but. Um, just some, yeah, just something. I'm not saying it has to be the most 
mobile thing in the world. Like, he is obviously annoyingly very mobile offensively, being able to go through the wave, but... Jumping to allied minions like that probably be a little OP. <clears throat> or maybe when his shield gets triggered, his passive, then he gets a little speed boost or something. I don't know. Recreate the Drake video. I don't... I don't know what video that is. I'm very out of touch with anything musical and especially music videos. Most of the music I listen to is at least 20 years old. Some of it several hundred years old. <laughs> listen to some classical. Lately I've been rocking out to some jazz. Mostly old school jazz, but like classical. Sometimes I listen to like some '90s dance music, or some '90s rap music. Depending on what I'm doing. Oh, Drake leaked something. Well, that's how you get famous. I mean. Kim Kardashian started that meta. Well, she probably didn't start it. There's probably other other people, but certainly popularized it in the modern day. Oops, here's a sex video. He's gonna try to hook us out of this bush, almost certainly, so. We gotta go all the way back. Oh, never mind. He used his little thing. But. Okay. Let's still probably look. Cheeks, this is a bark. That would probably not be the groove. I don't know. It could be fun. I don't think I've ever been with a girl that really liked to put on, like, music that much. Maybe. When I was younger, I think there were some girls that just, like, put up with it. But I don't... They weren't, like you know, didn't have any favorite songs or whatever. It's usually either some kind of like movie on, maybe. But I don't know. It's usually not a lot of not a lot of music there. we got him somehow. Oh, this is getting weird. Oh, can he hit her? Oh, God. I 
got weird quick. Yasuo, I guess, is dead. Again, yeah. I mean, they're kind of low. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't have fucked with it. Yasuo didn't get... Um, prior one mid. Couldn't come down. I thought maybe he'd just go straight there, but he went mid instead. Have been in the, well, we're watching a movie scenario. We were watching a movie. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah, this day and age. But yeah, I, haven't, I wouldn't be opposed to music, but. Depending on what it is. I'm usually. I'm willing to be more adventurous or silly or just whatever, but most of the girls are usually pretty. pretty serious. But I'd be down for some music or some antics. Uh, kind of fading here. Alright, I'm coming back down. But they're going to see me on this war. Just be careful for a second. That's okay. They're about to dive. We gotta run. Maybe Viego helps. Okay, well that was really good. Stuffing him. Oh, Allie just lost her mind. She just thought she was hot shit. Well, okay. I mean, he's out playing a lot of that. But he's not going to be able to 2v1. I don't know why he just didn't come down here and dive the pipe, but I guess he got cut off. Viego just didn't want to scuttle. I don't know. I guess he's catching mid wave. That's fine. Oh, you got static too? Okay. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing on Jim, but I mean, it makes sense. The item's pretty OP. Um, Brad got me on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you get free wave clear, and the stats are very good, too, so... I guess your other option's Storm Razor, but I think it's probably better than that. It's like an early cheap item. Nice. 
nice. Okay, yeah, we got drag coming up. I don't have ult for that, but they don't have a Lowie for that. got out, but... Oh, shit. Yeah, we gotta run. I think if we can keep this pushed up, maybe? Or if they, like, walk around here? Nah, I think we gotta get off this. Okay, Ari ult. God. Uh, this is spooky. Also is kind of lighting up bottom. Hopefully, he's doing something bottom. Sure. Yeah, so it was like, guys, do something! Whoa, what the? How many people do they have on their team? I thought there were just three bottom. I guess there are just two. Okay, well, I got too brave with that. I thought it was just Pike. I should have just warded over the wall, anyways. Was, did Ari? No. So who, Yasuo was killed by Alawi and Ari. Yeah, I should've just thrown up safer wards. 
I just thought that there were three bottom. Maybe I saw like the tentacles or something and thought that was an extra player just on the mini map. Okay, nice. Bad control word placement. Okay, they're gonna kill Alawi probably over there. We've got pressure in side lane, so they are using a lot of resources to try to keep this vision here. And I hope that I check that. So Amumu and Pike could be in try. Okay, all right. I mean, we've got Baron Warded, so we know they're not doing that. Yeah, Moo Moo's right there. Nice. Maybe get this. Uh, all right, bro, you got it. Nah, I'm good. I think just them wasting a moving ult. Oh god, if we can kill a Moomoo, that'd be amazing. I don't know if we want to get him now. Fine. They're gonna get Pryo mid again, and then Pressure Baird, and I don't have any wards for it. I don't know about that, Mundo. Well, maybe he can run away, but they're all... I would have TP'd bottom. Or just walk bottom. I don't know why he had a TP. Now they're going to have a 4v5 at Baron, probably.
Nice. It feels like Ari just does way too much damage for how, like, guaranteed her damage seems. Woof! Bodyguard Recon! Ah! <laughs> what, Ari running at you like that? Or how I, like, don't die there. Thousands of recon games <laughs> and a little bit of luck. I don't know what Yasso is thinking. There. Maybe I need to start banning Ari. Like, right. she's very sort of unassuming. It just doesn't feel like she's totally clapping your team, but then she kind of does. Died to some kind of burn that time. Like Leandre, Zamumu, I think. Damn. God, yeah, they just have so much fucking dive. Why is Mundo backing? I mean, they're getting soul. He should have just pressured tower. I don't understand that. I guess we're just gonna get redemption next. <laughs> What's the cooldown on that? Fuck is that thing still alive? Did Yas or go off of her or something? Yas must have just left her. I guess her what her ult gives a lot of lifesteal. Conquer gives some. Hey, you left her with 10 HP and then she just annihilate everybody. Why is Mundo so squishy? Nice. You know, Malignus, actually, Ari's Malignus proc is not doing that much damage. It's done 800 total damage. Okay, they're trying to throw. Wait, how, how did you die? W? Ari just hit you with something? I thought she was out of range. I guess she got one final breath off. Would a wits and her maul be good on me? Probably maul. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably Maw, not Wits. So that's attack speed, so yeah, probably Maw. I don't know if people get the QSS item anymore. I don't think I've seen a lot of people doing that, but... I think probably Maw. 
just give you more effective health. Yeah, those guys are getting wits <clears throat> because they, you know, attack speed matters a lot more for them. Right, right, right. She doesn't have TP. What do we got? Baron? Yeah. We got Operation Try to Save Mundo. I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> we kill her? I don't think we can kill her. Okay, so she killed the inhibitor and was able to rotate over to me at the same time. Yasuo just didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I guess he pushed the wave up. I don't know. I didn't. Again, I thought I could clear that ward. And those two wouldn't be there anymore. But they were just hanging out. I guess just in case we started there and they're just kind of lingering around it. Hanging out in these old crevices of vision. Because I had a lot of it warded. I just didn't have that. Okay, so you can escape through monsters. It's kind of cool. But <clears throat> Okay, Mundo has TP. Actually, we've got... Yeah, yeah, kill that. Shit, I fucked that up. If I would have hit the W, I don't know. She's still got a lot of health, but maybe. Alright, I'm banning Ari. Yeah, I can't get all that. Tired of this shit. Like, that was such a stupid play by her. Just W'd right into melee, or dashed right into melee of you, and just still gets out. Nice. Oh, I thought he killed like two people there. I guess he just got one. Oh, uh, get out. Nice. Alright, she should die, right? Okay. Did he not take her soul? Yeah, we should get Elder. Mundo can stay. It was like right when uh, the dragon buff came up. <laughs> yeah. So she executed. Beautiful. Yeah. She was going to live with like 
500 HP. If I didn't have Ignite. Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> I guess I just gotta get the box. Stupid ass item. <laughs> nice. I don't know, like. Boys, it's about to be dirty. Hell yeah. Would it be better? I didn't have enough gold though. Just to like not have control wards. And just complete a support item instead of getting the box. I feel like that's almost always not what you should be doing. But if we can just walk up and A ram them, which is what a lot of these are kind of turning into. <clears throat> well, I've already committed to the box now, which has. The upgraded version, I think, has decent gotta, stats on it. But... Yeah, the problem is, like, the inhibitors and the exposed nexus. Like, we don't want them to backdoor. But, yeah, I think we're doing it right, where you've got Mundo in a side lane. I don't know what Yasuo is doing. Nice. Yasuo is, like, AFK, or maybe he's hard watching the base. I don't know. This is a bad time to go AFK though. I kind of want to question mark him. I'm not going to. Okay, here he goes. I don't know. Maybe he had to answer the door for his pizza or something. You have. Okay, you do have rapid fire. I was like. That's what I was thinking. I thought you were in range, but. Yeah, I thought I was too. I guess you're just barely out. Yasuo, get the fuck in a lane, man. God, if he was just pressuring bottom right now. Guess he's like really afraid of a back door, but it's like, bro, we see them all. Okay, well, I got Pike with the redemption. <laughs> I was trying to save Mundo. I was a little bit late on that. Maybe I should have done that earlier. How many? Okay, they got two dead. We got 2v2 here. I don't know, against Ari, I guess that's tough. Yasuo, is this guy fucking for real? Is he trolling? Or is he really that dumb? Like, we see them all, they don't have teleport. I guess Olawi has teleport, but we saw her in bottom lane. There's no wards in the base. Now all of our inhibitors are back. Is he just mad? I, I really can't tell. If a movement walks over here. Fuck. Yeah, I need to go get more wards. Bro, what the what is this guy doing? He's gotta be mad. Like we've got inhibitors back.
Okay, so he's not trolling at least, he's just incredibly dumb. Okay, we need to just try to fight this. Did she ult? I mean, it's like a 10 second cooldown, I guess. But. Okay, nice. Just end the game. I guess we can get to... Okay, they surrendered. Nice. Oof. That was a game right there. It's probably all smooth. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, when the inhibs are down, if they have someone who's really mobile or sneaky that can TP, but they're only... Like, especially once we got the inhibitors back, I wouldn't do it. But once you see them all in the lanes, then you don't have to, like, do that anymore. Then you can at least go out and push a lane up a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, man. Well, GG's got some dubs here. Some good games. But, uh, I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Okay, and that's it for me. So we're getting back to our winning ways, which is nice. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. Definitely made a couple of mistakes getting greedy on the vision. But, uh, yeah, man, Ari just seemed really strong. Like, I don't know. She didn't do as much damage as Sivir or Alawi, I guess. But, I mean, she's really hard to lock down, obviously. But it just feels like her damage is really high for someone who has that much mobility. And like a lot of it I mean she has a skill sh she has a couple of skill shots but like her W and her ult there's like guaranteed damage. And she doesn't really have to hit her charm anymore to kill people I don't think when she gets pretty fed. They tried to balance it around well she's high mobility but you got to hit your charm and it gives that debuff in order to actually assassinate somebody. <clears throat> but now it doesn't feel like that's necessarily the case. Obviously the charm helps, but um, I don't know. It seems pretty strong. Malignus didn't have a lot of damage on it, though, at the time. So I don't know. It only had like 600 damage, and she'd had it for like 10 minutes. But anyways, all right. That's going to be it. Thank you all very much. Have a good day, and we'll see you everybody next time.